Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in today's Kill Team update, we'll be looking at the new cinematic Shovel Showdown. So we've got a new update today over at the Warhammer community site. So let's scroll down and we'll click on the link and we'll take a look at it together. But this is going to be telling us about the devastating weapon of war spotted in new Death Corps of Krieg kill team footage. So let's click the link and have a look at the article. Here we go. So we're at the article and it's going to be quite short today. Not too much information coming out. But we do get to have a look at something that I think a lot of Death Corps of Krieg fans are going to like. And that's the shovels and these entrenching tools in action. So before we go through the whole article, let's watch the new Kill Team cinematic trailer that Games Workshop have put out today. <laughs> So that's pretty cool, just very short. It was only a six second video that they put out, but a nice little update to the original cinematic trailer that they put out for Kill Team. And I don't think this orc is gonna dig himself out of this one. I couldn't help myself, but I think it's a good time to put all our shovel puns in the comment section below. So get stuck in and add your best pun below. So here's the original cinematic trailer. It's really worth checking out. It's an awesome trailer. Really sums up what Kill Team's gonna be all about. This time he's going at it with the chainsword, but let's watch the clip again where they've redone it using the shovel, which I think looks awesome. So if you're a fan of these shovels, then this is gonna be great. And you can have lots of options to build all the different miniatures from the new Kill Team box set. So hopefully we'll be able to include these shovels as an actual weapon in their hand. All right, we're back at the article now. So let's keep going and see if everything else that's gonna be included here. And we get this nice image of one of the Kree from one of the different regiments. And I'd love to know what color you're gonna paint your kill team. I'm thinking I'm going with the green, not sure yet. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what color you're gonna go with and what regiment you're gonna use. So we're definitely gonna get shovels anyway. So that's a good thing to know. And we've got a little picture of the sprue here and they've blacked out all of it except for the shovel that we can see that's stabbed in some dirt. So it doesn't look like this would work as an actual fighter holding it as a weapon. And this is gonna be something we can add to the base as an, as an extra piece. So hopefully there's gonna be more shovels in the sprues where we can actually equip them with it as a weapon. So it doesn't tell us in the article here if that's the case, but hopefully it will be. So I guess we'll find out more once we get a bit more information as the weeks progress, but certainly once we get the box, we'll see for sure. But yeah, hopefully we can kit it out. I mean, it doesn't, that whole cinematic trailer kind of suggested they're gonna be fighting with them. So it doesn't make sense to just have one that you would glue to the base and they can't actually hold it. So it also tells us in the article that something we know already, but the build options in the box are going to include several weapon options suitable at range and in melee. And we went through the range weapons and close combat rules last week a little bit. And so I'm hoping we're going to find out more, but maybe we won't. Maybe last week is all we're going to kind of find out about these new rules until we actually get the game. So if you want to check those videos out and get up to date, then they're up on the channel and I'll put links in the description below so you can easily find them and go straight there after this video and watch it if you want to. So here we can see we've got some different weapon options. We've got the chain sword, the power sword, some different pistols there. So you can really equip these models with loads of different weapons. Um, again, I would have liked to have seen a picture of one of them holding a shovel, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on that. But we've certainly got lots of options there. And they said in the preview online that for every model that's included in the box, there's going to be at least two ways that you can build that model. And so that's really great. So here you can see we've got four different weapons. So we're going to have loads of combinations there to put this together. So more than two ways we can assemble a fire. There we go, there's just a quick update for today, but I'll be releasing more videos as the updates come out from the Warhammer community site. And if you haven't seen it already, yesterday I did a video that summed up in a quick overview everything we know so far. And then previously to that, I've done more in-depth videos that include the close combat rules for Kill Team, which are awesome. I've also done a video for the range combat rules, going over everything they included in the article there, and that was great too. And then also looked at the data cards, which gave us a first glimpse of these new shapes and colors that are gonna replace the measurements. Also did a video for the five new things about Kill Team, which was a great 
update including some great information there and also another one where we had an unboxing sneak peek looking at all the contents of the box and then finally i went through the online preview and condensed it into a short video so you can see everything in a, a quicker view and get a good overview of what's to come don't forget to add your shovel pun below and let me know what color you'll be painting your kill team and come back for the next update tomorrow and as more information is released i'll put out more videos but for now thanks so much for watching Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page, and thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas, and help each other out, and you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description, and it'll be great to see you there.